Palm Sunday or Passion Sunday. Both work. And they tell us so much about what is going on. We start at the very beginning, right? With the triumphal entry in. And we are left right now at the tomb. With Christ dead, lying there. And the church does this for a very set reason. This is the beginning of Holy Week. And Passion Sunday or Palm Sunday is really supposed to be this introduction to what is going to happen real soon in the Triduum, right? The Passion and Death and ultimately the Resurrection of Christ. But it's supposed to, it's, it's deliberately given to us and we're left deliberately with Christ laying in the tomb. This somber, dark moment. So that we hopefully understand the reality of what just happened. God died for us. And it wasn't that he had to die. At any moment he could have stopped this. At any moment he could have said it's not worth it. I've had enough. At any moment of the scourging and the carrying of the cross, being nailed to the cross, hanging there, any moment he could have said, I'm done. What did he tell his apostles? Do you not think that there would be 12 legions, 12,000 angels? As soon as I asked, 12,000 angels would appear, boom, and he'd be done. He could have been done at any moment. He could have said, you know what? Those people that I'm trying to save, some of them aren't going to want it. Those people I love, they're responding with such hatred. Those people I'm trying to bring to me, whatever. He could have looked and said, nope, I'm done. And he didn't. Not at one moment. Three times he asked his father, right? Jesus said to God the Father, I don't want to do this. And yet how do you end each one? Not my will, but yours be done. If it is your will, I will do it. I'm afraid, my humanity, of this. And yet I will do it. Why? Because of love of you and me. Our God loved us so much that he was willing to undergo the passion to save us. I guess what I'm encouraging us to do this week, this whole week, is to take time and really think on that day in and day out. This is not something that we should gloss over or forget as we're rushing towards Easter. Let us really enter into the passion of Christ. Who will hear on Good Friday that he was so afraid of that he literally sweat blood. For you and for me. This is what we're getting ready to celebrate. Our loving God, who is willing to suffer and to die, to take upon all of our sins so that we might be with him forever in heaven. Let us not skip this crucial step of how he saved us, but walk with him through it. Let us walk with him through his passion as best we can so that we'll have a better appreciation and love for the resurrection which will come we have that hope but first let us walk in this darkness of the passion